I'm Tony Attard and I'm founder and CEO of Penaz. I want to welcome you here today to this wonderful area of ours called Lancashire in England. And it's our headquarters, our global headquarters, where I've got a friend of mine downstairs who's waiting to talk to you about design. Why don't you follow me? I'm really pleased to uh, welcome you to the Panay showroom, um, where we have the multi-talented, multi-award winning uh, designer David Fox here today to uh, talk to us about design and his collaboration with Panaz. So David, what, what's, just to start the ball rolling then, what do you think is the most important aspect of, of, of a successful collaboration? Primarily, I think it's about understanding the client what what they do what they do well and the journey that they want to that they want to go on is that is that venturing into new markets is is it is it looking internationally but i think the most important thing is having a rapport with the individuals that you're going to take this journey with yeah i mean i mean collaboration as as far as Panaz is concerned, is about um, strengthening the brand, um, bringing in, in influence into our thought process, and of course, collaboration is about um, is about strengthening. It's about uh, inspiring, and, and it's about um, motivating us to think in a slightly different manner. Um, and I certainly think that that's happened with the designs that you've um, you've created for us at Panaz. Um, in, term, in terms of the designs that you've, that you've created, David, what, um, what, were, what was the major motivation for those designs? The major motivation, as we, as we initially discussed, was you, you wanted to encroach more on the, on, the, on the corporate market, which I've been designing in the, in the corporate ma market for the best part of 12 years now. Now, I, I come at fabric design from a very from a, a very different skill set. I'm used to designing the pieces that the fabric goes on without actually, without actually having any say in the cover that goes over. So from, from an understanding point of view of how patterns can be used and how they can be used commercially on different pieces of furniture. You know, you have small pieces, you have large pieces. Now, the scale of pattern looks very different on the larger pieces. So part of the problem within the the development of grids was to make something that can be used on all products. So it would make the most of a lounge chair, a compact chair, a major sofa, or maybe or maybe a, maybe a headboard. So the motivation really was to try or to try and offer something that I felt using traditional fabric designers maybe they've not looked at they've not looked at this element and it's about and it's about a pattern or a piece of art that's then kind of sometimes stamping their DNA of what they want onto something and go hey that there it there it there it is mm. that's what it does mm. the I think the um, one of the aspects about designing the fabric as well to go on the piece of furniture uh, and when you're in control of the complete process that gives you a great opportunity to be able to control all of it so you get a the, the total finished article. Um, I, I, um, I must say that I've been blown away by the designs that you've, that you've created for us. Um, and Grids, of course, is the, is the first one of, of two designs that you're creating. Um, but uh, perhaps you could show us the design now um, in a bit more detail, David. Do you want to? Do you want to uh... Okay, Grids is one of the colorways um... Which you, can, which you can see here, which is in, in quite a bold lemon uh, and a red. Now, uh, this is also a chair that I have designed for Knightsbridge Furniture. So we've got, we've got the canvas and we've also got the painting that, go, that goes on the top. The reason behind the, the geometric simplistic design really is that it can, it can be easily colour matched to various frame or contemporary finishes that, that, that may be available, as well as the line at which you see here, there's a, there's a plane so that you could have on this chair, as an example, you could use the red line here and then 
on the back of the chair, you can make it red. So it, it's, it's about pulling colourways for interior designers through uh, and giving them the, the, almost the creative decision to use it how they want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I must say, I mean, it's been put together in a really very nice card um, with all the different colourways on it. I think we can just have a quick view of it there. Um, and I think the, uh, I think the colours are just superb. I mean, do you want to take us through the colours, David? I mean, uh, you, you've got your pastel shades here, which go with woods becoming very popular in furniture. So your pastel shades, uh, your browns, your pinks, they all, they all, they all synchronise very well with, with your oaks and your, your blonde woods. Whereas, whereas the more bolder, the more bolder colours, more, more, more radiant colours, kind of work on, on the premise that most corporate colours will will use one of these colourways, which is important in, in corporate rollout. So, you know, equally that could be HSBC uh, as an example. But the, the dark lines as well also go with the, which is becoming very popular, the black stained ashes um, and, the, and the deeper, darker woods. Mm, okay. I think the, the, the other aspect, of course, of this is the, the fabric itself is on one of, the, one of Panaz's best-selling lines called, uh, called Highland. Uh, it's uh, inherently flame retardant. Um, it also has um, a waterproof finish and a stain-resistant finish. So it has a high durability. Uh, I think it's over 200,000 rubs or something. So it's incredibly uh, durable as well as being superbly designed by, uh, by David. So well, thanks for that, David. I think the I think the chair sort of speaks for itself, and, and the pattern on it looks looks absolutely fantastic, incredibly contemporary. And we can see here uh, another colorway in in the grey, which is a little bit more understated, I must say, than the yellow, um, but no no uh, no less uh, effective and um, and dramatic. So I think I think the uh, the collection's really looking great. So so this is available in a card from Panaz. Um, called Grids on Highland, and um, it's available um, now from, from our representatives and, of course, from the website or from, um, uh, you know, from, from our offices around the world. I think uh, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, room for uh, new design and ideas for the future. So on, on that note, David, thank you very much for making the effort to come over to Lancashire today and have a, a chat to us about your design inspiration. And, um, uh, a long way your collaboration with Panaz continue. Yeah, Thank pleasure. you very much. Cheers, David. Thank you. Thank you for coming over and uh, watching um, our, our little chat today about design. And I look forward to welcoming you again to our next series of collaborations with Panaz. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>